Previsao, uh, Fatima Gedish and uh, Elio Del Miro on guitar. Uh, I'm not uh, attempting to play the full Elio Del Miro piece, uh, actually, because it's a very complex uh, guitar uh, piece, if you want, uh, accompanying uh, Fatima Gedish. Uh, but I think I've captured some of the nice twists. The song is full of uh, twists on the guitar, and I think I've captured a lot of those uh, for you, it's a it's a really enjoyable song to play. So I hope that uh, uh, I haven't made it too too complex. Uh, okay, so let's start. I'm going to take it line by line, really, uh, because of the complexity of the song. I, I need to take it line by line. I'm skipping the uh, instrumental introduction for now. So I'm going to verse one, uh, line one, and it starts like this. Quem sabe você voltar quando estiver de porim? So we've got this uh, D uh, minor ninth, which is really playing throughout the song. It gives a nice atmosphere. So quem sabe você voltar quando? This is a B flat nine or B flat seven nine. So this is an A7, 
within a sharp five. Huh? So this is the A7, this is the sharp five. You will see this uh, appear later on and I play it in this shape later on, okay? Uh, so you will see it in a transition like this. Huh? So back to line one. I'm sorry, I'm going a little bit slowly. I want to make sure that it's uh, the tutorial is clearer. So quem sabe você volta quando estiver de pori? And now we move to line two. Line two goes like this: Do mesmo jeito que chegou para Okay, so I'll play it again. Do mesmo jeito que chegou para o meu corri corri. So we start with a, this is an A minor, but with a flattened fifth, uh, followed by a D seventh with a flattened ninth. And this one, actually, you can do some fancy work on this by moving it in thirds, huh? in minor thirds, or, you know, three semitones. Okay, so it works a bit like a diminished chord where you can actually move it up and down uh, the fingerboard. And I think that Elio Del Miro moves a similar chord up and down uh, the, the, f the fretboard. What I've done is a simple one movement up by a minor third by a third just to add a little bit of interest. Huh? So back to line two. Do mesmo So we land on a, after going from a D7 flat nine to F7 flat nine, we land on the G minor seven. And something fancy happens here. I watch this. So you've got this movement between the G minor seven and the A minor seven back to G minor seven. Uh, and there's more fancy stuff here happening after, watch this. Okay, and this is how a line two uh, finishes. Okay, so I'll play that again. In fact, I'll play from the beginning because uh, I don't know how to play line two by itself. Huh? I apologize. So, line one. Quem sabe você volta quando estiver de pori? Do mesmo jeito que chegou para o meu pori pori. So what do I play here, actually? Instead of, I think normally it's more complicated than that. It should be something like this. So I found this too complicated. So I'm playing it simply like this. So I'm trying to stick to a G minor. And then we put the major, G minor with the major seventh. And then... G uh, minor with a seventh. So this is a bit like playing, but I'm playing it here. Okay, so we finished line two of the verse. Uh, we move to line three. Da mesma forma me abraça, tonto hebreo de loco de amor. Okay, so this one we start with an E minor seventh flat five, which you could play here actually, so I play it down here, followed by the A7 uh, flat, f sorry, A7 sharp five, which can be played here as well, but I'm playing all of this stuff down here. D minor ninth, but there's a very nice twist here, and uh, he goes to a G six, okay. And in some on some verses actually, 
this you can either slide the sixth to the seventh or slide the whole chord actually okay so I'll play line three again okay so that's line three and now we move to line four which is starts with an e7 Detando pour si magimi Como king agonizi mori Okay, so it starts with an E7 Detando pour si magimi This is the B flat 7-9 uh, Followed by the A7 sharp 5 Agonizi mori And we finished uh, line four of uh, the verse. Now there is an exception. The last verse uh, doesn't finish. Line four finishes differently. Eh? Line four finishes like this. E tu du si prepara pra otra vez acontecer. Okay, so the last verse, which starts. So it's identical, everything uh, else is identical, but the very last line, line four, uh, finishes instead of going It goes like this So so very different huh, from the other two verses. Huh? Now we let's go back to verse one. Uh, we said we said de tando pour si magimi como que agonizi more. Now there is uh, there are three chords here, which give us a nice transition between the two verses, verse verse one and verse two, and that goes like this. Okay, so this is a C minor ninth, followed by a B seven sharp five, A seven sharp five. Okay, now this can be played somewhere else as well. You can play it like this, and but I find this more difficult to play then. And then we go back again. Quem sabe você se levanta de manhã, passado fogo, dizendo que acabou algo, mas não acabou o jogo. Ok? And then third line. Pedindo pra voltar pra mim, pro meu colo, pro meu calor. G, G6 Que aquela humildade de quem já se acha superior Ok, so we finished the verse. Huh? Uh, now the chorus is uh, extremely interesting. Uh, there's some nice bass lines here uh, that, uh, that will add a lot of interest. So, você... I start with the G minor, but in this shape, not like this. Baby, followed by a C ninth, huh? so G minor seventh. Você que baby, eu que fico embriagada. So nice, very nice sequence, huh? Você que baby, eu que fico embriagada. I'll go through the chords again. So G minor, C, G minor seventh, C ninth. This is the E uh, minor seven uh, flat. Uh, uh, is it uh, flat five? Yeah, flat five. Okay. So, sorry. I'll start again. Você came, baby. So E minor 7 uh, flat 5, followed by the A uh, 7 sharp 5, and finishing the line on the D minor 9th. And here we have a modulation, we move into E. 
você que volta Eu que fico apaixonado So I'll go through this one, but I'm afraid I have to start singing from the, the first line. Huh? Você que bebe e que fico embriagada Você é que volta, eu que fico apaixonada. So I'll go through this. So it's an E, seventh, okay, followed by an F sharp minor, F sharp minor with a sharp five. You can play actually the F. Uh, seven with a sharp five as well. I think both both seem to work. Huh? So first chord, second chord, F sharp minor seven, G minor six. This is an E seventh. Okay, it's just a, another another shape of. Actually, it's not a, an E seventh. It's an E major. It's a straight E major. If you look at the different notes, huh? this is uh, okay. But all of this is an excuse, actually, to get this bass line going. Você que volta Okay, then we go to the B flat uh, ninth. And this finishes on a very nice form of the A, um, a seventh, but it's a sharp five and uh, sharp ninth, huh? and it's a very nice chord on this song. So basically it's this chord, but we've added a sharp nine up here actually, which is the C note. Huh? Okay, I, I play it like this. If you can play it like this, you can do actually. I find it more difficult to play in this shape. Huh? So, so I play it like this. Okay, so I'll start again the first part of the chorus. So we finished the first part of the chorus. The second part of the chorus goes like this. Si dormi na minha cama, toma do meu café. So this is straightforward. Uh, we've already seen these chords. Uh, this is the E uh, minus seventh uh, flat five. Uh, so si dormi na minha cama, e toma do meu café. And the same chords repeat here. Jimaya kade me pudor amor kara lavada. Okay, so the the melody is completely different actually in these two lines, but the chords are the same. Si dormi na minha cama, e toma do meu café. Jimaya kade me pudor amor kara lavada. Now there's a nice uh, transition chord here actually before we move into the solo, the, the instrumental solo, and it's this. And that's an F7 uh, with a 6. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the instrumental solo because this is a, a little bit difficult, but I've simplified. It, the solo goes like this. Okay, so I tried to find chords that would actually follow the melody to a certain extent, and this is what I've come up with. I'll start again. Huh? E minor ninth. 
this is uh, a diminished chord actually, which I'm going to call uh, B flat diminished because this is the note I'm aiming for. Followed by a D minor ninth. I'm going to call this a uh, G sharp uh, diminished. Followed by, so start again. This is the B minor seventh uh, diminished five, uh, flat five. E minor uh, seventh uh, flat five. Start again. So this is the B flat uh, seven, seven nine. Okay, so this is the A uh, seven sharp five with uh, uh, sharp nine. And then from here we go to the last verse. In time, in time. And so we have done the verse. So basically I have covered the whole song. Huh? I've covered the verses, the chorus, uh, the solo, the instrumental solo, and then we go back to the verse. I have added another chorus because I think the chorus is so nice. And it's only played once in the in the recording, uh, so I, I felt it was a little bit unfair on the chorus, and it really it could, uh, so I played actually uh, twice in the song, uh, and I don't play the final. Uh, there's the final series of chords uh, that uh, are played, which I have skipped altogether because that is really complex, I think, and. Um, it adds, actually, it adds a lot to the song, which is quite atmospheric, but uh, I'm afraid it may have to be for another tutorial. At least now you've got the verses, uh, the chorus and the solo, the instrumental solo, which makes a really, really nice song. So best of luck.